Why is it so loose now? It was tight earlier. Uh, don't blame me. Close enough uh, for government work, that's what they always say. All right. Done. Uh, all right, we're going to put this Don't right touch here. it. Don't touch it. But again, you can see, especially on the bottom, this is just, it doesn't. What are you doing? I'm going to replace it, that it's piece. VFMHJK. Very fun model. Happy, joyful kid. There it is. Very fun model. Happy, joyful kid. Minus 10. Yeah. I, I, I think this F35 has a prolapse. Never mind. Oh. All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Freak Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty and. I'm Sean. Also known as the Silver Spleen. Yeah, and today we're looking at the F35. A lot of you guys are requesting for this one. Yes. It was nice and small, so we'll try to get through this quick. Exactly. Because as I mentioned, it's my last day here. We're gonna pile as many videos as I can. Yes. Because then you won't see me for about a month. But you'll see my videos I mean, rolling yeah, out. You, you, you can watch his. It's not like he's gonna suspend the channel. You'll be able to watch him, but you if you lived in Hong Kong, you wouldn't see him because he won't be. No. So this is Zingbao's F-35 Fighter. XB06026. 646 pieces. And it's rated for what, six and above? Okay. You gotta be six years old. Yeah. Let's see. So if you can put this thing together. Yeah, six plus. You know, I'm 40 something and I can barely even put this thing and together. I'm 50 something and I, you know, I'm glad I didn't have to. So first of all, right away, off the bat, Outlook, build, I was telling Sean, it looks really study. This is the yeah. thing I don't like. Which is especially weird because it's designed obviously to be a stealth fighter. And part of that is that you, you want to have a very smooth outer surface. So on that level, it doesn't really reflect react. You certainly looking at the shape would recognize it, but yeah, the, the studs kind of throw it off. The nipples. It's very nipply. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let Sean explain about the F-35, what information and knowledge he knows. I'm going to let him pick it up too and just right. pull it up and see okay. what Ugh. falls off. Yeah, sure. He's going to try and make me the, the fall person. Dude, I've told you don't touch my sets and he dropped my, he touched my alien and the thing fell apart. Don't touch my alien. Uh, anyway. The F-35, to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about uh, these newer aircraft. The thing about the F-35 that most people talk about these days in real life is how much it costs and just keeps on costing. One of the issues, and remember we talked about the A-10, we did the A-10 yeah, review. Yeah, yeah, that's right. One of the, the problems with not so much military thinking, but let's say uh, government thinking, uh, the people who hold the purse strings, is they keep trying to find one airplane that will do everything. And to some extent that has been foisted onto the F-35. So it's a bit of a problem that Everyone's trying to pull it in a different direction. Nobody wants to have it commit to any one single thing. Now, I am going to pick this up and probably pieces will fall off. And the other thing is, think about the fact I was saying to him before, this was, they had one of these, granted it was CG, in Die Hard 4. Um, but this is designed to do what they now call Stovall. Oh, this looks a little bit which is, there. Whoops. Short takeoff. Oh, shake, oh, short see, maybe takeoff and vertical landing. And, and this is a nice touch though, actually, that the model does rotate. This is the out, this is your engine, your, your exhaust. Yeah. So back. that it could, in theory, do kind of vertical. And then there's a nice detail in here as well, which is another uh, turbine for that sort of thing to be taking off either short or just vertical. The fan inside does rotate, but you know. Oh, okay, that's good. Got to get your finger in there to do it. I hate when that happens. But as you saw here, this piece came off. And so I'm going to try to put this one right. back on nicely. Yeah. So like I said, it's a small thing. The whole jet is not falling apart, thank yeah. goodness. Yes. You keep playing with it. I'm okay. gonna actually find a new piece and replace it. All right. Okay, so bad on my part, I fixed it, whatever that flap is called on the back here. So it was my fault. It's actually more secure now. It's not gonna flop down or anything. But as Sean was trying to show you earlier, this opens up here, that opens up there. And this little thing comes down like that. Right. Now, unfortunately for that part, that piece, because it moves, it can pop off really easy, just like that. All right. You know, it's only being held by a couple of studs right there. Now, I know I always ask you this question, but in general, for people that are building these, these are made mostly just almost like models that you assemble it, and then it's just for display. Yeah, right? that's why I tell a lot of people, like, everyone freaks out when I'm dropping sets. These this... aren't designed to be played with. They're just designed to be looked at. Oh, well, you have to a six-year-old. Six year old. Well, yeah, but why would, why would you? Yeah, I know. It's just like the architecture sets. I'm always like fiddling around with those and saying that they're so fragile, but in reality, yeah. most majority of these are pretty much more display pieces. What's the cockpit look like? Cockpit opens up here. There you go. Got right. it inside. Oh, oops. So, oh, the good thing about the set is that okay. everything here is printed. It's good. So the cockpit dashboard panel, whatever you want, is printed. 
Got a little single joystick there. Joystick. But there's no chair inside. It's just like, I guess you just sit the guy well, inside. Yeah, yeah, because if you, well, I, mean, I, would, I would assume it would raise his, raise his yeah, profile. Yeah, I think it was like high. a design thing, you know? Yeah. It's just easier to fit the guy in here, like, directly into the studs on the inside, if I can get him in. This piece actually kind of folds in there, so you can close that and then okay. you fold this piece out. Oh, know, nice. Why okay. want to. Everything is printed. It says Lightning 2 on the sides. Yes. It has like the emblem. Mm -hmm. And of course the word that we're trying to figure out what those mean. Yes. Yeah, I, I think I was saying before, it's kind of like VMF is a designator for Marine Air Squadrons, but I think they're just trying to play a little alphabet soup. I think the tail bits is a little bit weak for design because it's just sitting... It's too flimsy, um, it's too... It's just sitting on two studs, uh, basically. Yeah. You know, the flaps it can be a little bit loose. Right. But it's cool that this bit can adjust that like that in real life, too. I don't believe so, but I'm not sure, and I'm sure someone in the comments will tell us at length how we are wrong and what we're leaving out. Yeah, because I, I admit, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to do much research about this. Relatively speaking, the F-35 is still pretty new. They only started flying, I believe, 2006. But these, are all, these all move up and down. Yeah. And Here's the bottom. I'm not sure if these these probably have some purpose, some actual design purpose. Um, I like this part here. This was interesting. Like it's the air inside, intake. The air intake part. Yes, that's that the, was actually interesting because it kind of folds and it locks into place once it's right. built. I wheels are kind of loose. Yeah. I mean the, the wheels roll fine, but I mean this piece going back. Yeah. In, and in real roll. life, of course, they they have covers and you know. But this one is nice and tight, so yeah. it like fits perfectly <laughs> fine. The nose, does the nose really look like that? It kind of looks funky yeah, on this one. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's slightly different than that, but it, it like I said, it certainly captured, it, it's evocative, there's the word, it's evocative of an actual F-35. You could look at it and immediately recognize it as such. Is there anything inside here? Nothing inside there. No, but you can look in there. You can put some weapons in there. Yeah. It's supposed to have like a kind of a tilt look to it up here. It's not supposed to be flushed. It's uh, supposed to like have a, that kind of a look. I don't know if it's really like that, right. oh, yeah. but that's the idea. And then you got rockets, right? Missiles, probably. The difference being a rocket, you just shoot and hope it goes where you want. A missile normally has a guidance, guidance. system. Guidance, okay. And yes. I guess, what about these things on the end, same thing? Yeah, most likely. I mean, it's hard to tell because I, I assume it doesn't list them in the manual. But just as you saw earlier, those can actually pop off really easy. Yeah. So you gotta be careful with the wheels, you gotta be careful with the missiles. Right. And we'll put this here nicely. But surprisingly now, oh, the wheel came off. There we go. <laughs> okay. Not too bad. No, no, it works. But for being something really small, I kind of wish the build was a little bit more secure. Yes. Because you know, when we did the AC-130, watch it here, that thing was amazing. Yeah, It, it like great. held into play. Yes, considering how big it was. We needed to do a drop test on this one. You're not gonna, are you gonna? The wings might pop Ow. off. Ow. You know, we, okay, we'll try it from this height, okay? Ow. Oh. 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 Well, the body stayed intact. Catastrophic failure. So if your kids are gonna play with it. Yuff. It's gonna end up it. all over the house. Okay, now while I'm putting this back together, I'm gonna yes. slide this here. Oh. I'm gonna let you look at this. All right, here's the pilot. And again, he's wearing his goggles and I'll wear mine. One thing that I noticed about, this is nice as a detail, they use silver paint, which is, is nice because it sort of catches the light a little better. The detail on it's quite nice. As you said, it's printed, it's wearing a standard, I would guess, survival vest. Uh, it has the, the goggles, which do move up and down. So the pilot, we have a name for him. <gasps> what is the pilot's name? I'm gonna take this from Instagram. How'd you like a kick? No. It's D G Z underscore D R. D G Z D R. Like a doctor. Doctor Doctor Diggs. Diggs. So there you are, Giz. sir. That is you. Doctor Jizz. Ooh. Doctor Jizz. This one's a little different. This little fella here. This vest is a little bulky, but it is printed. It had, there's a nice level of detail. You probably won't be able. Maybe you can see it on the inserts. There's some nice etching in here, which is really good. He seems quite surprised, which is to be expected. And again, with the silver. I'm not really sure what these details are, but it's nice that I guess it'll show up in the other shots. The silver paint really helps it pop, really makes it visible, which as you can see, I need all the help I can get at this stage. I also like that they've kind of incorporated the camouflage into the, uh, the plastic itself. Um, they've just kind of swirled in the different colors, which is really interesting to me because it's, 
It's not necessary. Uh, realistic isn't the word I'm looking for, but it's, it's a nice design touch, so I like it that it's not printed or anything. So the guy with the vest is Brick underscore Thias. T-H-I-A-S. Brick there Thias. You are. There you are, sir. So that's you. Congratulations on your swirly uniform. I don't know what this is. This reminds me of, of the old range finding things. Maybe, maybe it's an anti the aircraft missile launcher. I have no idea because again, it doesn't really specify. Rocket it's... launcher. Oh, it is? I is think it? so. Are you? I don't know. Yeah, you show them the box. Stand in out. there. But yeah, we should. You no, know, the guys love to see the boxes. This is a big box. Sure. It has a handle on it. Unfortunately, we can't send out the boxes to you guys. Oh, and, it costs and it, so much. It also has the. Um, oh yeah. The standard uh, weapon set. Just watch any of the military stuff that we've done before. Yeah. The standard military. That it comes with a couple of weapons there. It doesn't say, yeah, it, it, this is probably an anti-aircraft missile, which is kind of funny because the F-35, the whole object of it was to be stealth so that missiles wouldn't see it, but, uh, you know. I'm just showing them like little yeah. details here. Oh, that's did fine. we cover everything here? I believe we did. The driving hatch can be opened. Sure. Front landing gear retractable. Mm -hmm. Inner Tibetan lift fan. Inner Tibetan lift fan. Tibetan. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Ooh, <laughs> someone's gonna be re-educated. Aileron can be rotated. Oh, can. Rotated. Thruster direction can be adjusted. Sure. Horizontal tail rotor can be rotated. Tail rotor? Horizontal. Tail flap, but anyway. Rear landing gear retractable. Yes. And yeah, that's it. What is that, wait, what is this on the? the same aileron, whatever that Front word is. Front landing gear, yes. Aileron. Yes. All right, you guys, some engine times. Get your 32 by 32 base plate, see if this jet can sit in the city? I don't know. But first of all, by the length of it, it is actually a little bit longer than a 32 by 32. Yeah, it just sticks right there. Look at that. Woo! So I kind of have to estimate the length of this, and it's roughly around 40 studs in length. And by width, if I rotate it a little bit this way, like that, from here to here, it is about 31. It's almost like a full base plate. Now let's check the height. So break out your one by four bricks. And what I've done is I put the tail completely straight up. That's the highest point on there. And it is roughly about 12 bricks in height. And you still have room here. Put this thing here and put your soldiers right there. Yeah, one and the pilot there. All right, that is your dimensions. So very simple, small build. Yeah. It could have been a little bit more sturdier, mm. but as is, if you move it a little bit, not too much, not like us, yeah. it should be fine. Yeah, as long you as know, you don't drop test it. Just be careful for the flaps there. Yes. They can be loose and the thruster part. Yeah. But other, other than that, you know, small, simple build. Yeah. What do you think, overall? It, like I said, it, it's, I think that's what it is. It's nice enough and they get enough things right that you, I can't understand why they got the things wrong that they did. Like I said, with the extra studs and everything else, it, it just doesn't seem to make sense. Almost like they kind of, pardon the expression, half ass. As good as it is, it should be better. That's why, what I why would say. Why are you so sad, little plane? Oh, oh. no sad face. Oh. oh. We got to get on to the next video, man. Yeah. We're going to be here all day trying to fix this thing up. We'll be here all day. All right, you guys. Until next time. Brick him up. Boom. Maybe we'll put some machine gun sound in there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, explosion sound. When did this piece fall? This thing just came off. I don't remember it falling off just now. Oh well. You know? Yeah, I mean, if you really don't like one of your friends or one of your relatives and they have small children, give them a Lego set because we all, anybody of any certain age knows there's really nothing quite like the pain you feel when you step on a Lego. Yeah. Or a brick, I'm sorry. And it's it's good enough, but it's not really good. It's not really as impressive as I guess you would hope it is because the F-35 is a very impressive design as an aircraft. And you would kind of want the model to be more impressive than it really is. And, and I'm kind of disappointed in this because, you know, a lot of my taxpayer dollars are going towards developing the real one. What did you say it stands for? Vagina. For my hose, just kidding. For my hose. Just Vagina kidding. for my hose, just kidding. Kid friendly, man. I'm sorry. Well, um, vagina's a technical term, so it's okay. It's just this little black technique. Why you gotta be racial? Peace. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> or you know what, maybe just don't push it in all the way. <laughs>
Like seriously, look. If yeah, I don't just push... the tip. <laughs> oh no. Oh! Oh, look what happened. F-35 goatsy. Ah! Oops. Uh, don't, look up, don't look up that term. No, don't. You ever seen Kermit? I'll have to send you that one later. <laughs> oh, oh no. it's special.